How much time do children need until they start speaking a new language? The silent period has the potential to drive parents and teachers mad. Let's see why. Hi everyone, Andrea here. In this channel, I share with you how to raise multilingual children with success. If you're interested, please subscribe, hit the like button and let's continue. The way we learn our first language is called first language acquisition. When we learn an additional one, after a while, we do it by building our knowledge on the previous language. This is also the case in children unless they started learning a language simultaneously. The first stage of what's called second language acquisition is the so-called silent period. What is that? It's when a person takes on a new language but doesn't speak it yet. Generalizing on how long this period may last is nearly impossible because it depends on many personal and individual variables that come into play. So the main characteristic of this stage is that after some initial exposure to the language, the learners are able to understand more than they can reproduce. You can see this easily in two-year-old toddlers. You can speak to them normally and they can understand a lot, whatever you say. However, even if they want to say exactly what you said before, they are not able to. They may use some words, but they would find it impossible to express their ideas in a similarly organized way, in spite of the fact that they may understand every single word that you said. This goes hand in hand with the fact that comprehension precedes production. We will always be able to understand much more than we are able to produce. That happens to me at the moment. I can understand every conversation my husband has with my children in Danish, but I can barely build a straight sentence. I'm simply not there yet. Nevertheless, with more exposure, interest and consistency, after a while I will be able to start reproducing the language. I'll let you know when it's so far. But why does the silent period have the potential to drive parents and children and teachers and their students crazy and anxious? As I said in one of my previous videos, the initial phase of passing on teaching, learning or acquiring a language is by far the most difficult period for everyone. Once you are past that initial hurdle, things tend to become easier. If you're introducing a new language to your children, remember to relax and don't place a heavy burden on yourselves. Here's why. I once had a father of a second grader that was already impatient and almost angry, complaining about his son's lack of progress because he had been having six months of intensive German lessons with me and was still not uttering a word. It took me a while to calm the dad down and make him see that his son's language development was just fine. His language cop was just not full yet. What the child needed was just more time. And that was exactly how it was. After some weeks, the boy started speaking like an open book. The silent period was over. So as time goes by, provided that our children are in a truly communicative setting, the silent period takes an end and they transition to the productive stage. They will do so only when their language cup is full. Not before. That means when they have listened and heard the words enough times to be able to pass their passive language to the active vocabulary. So patience, patience, my friends. Instead of getting frustrated and harming your child's self-esteem by acting annoyed at them, it's better to just relax and enjoy what, what we are doing. Focusing on making the language experience of the child as enjoyable as possible possible. Forget about the progress, focus more on the experiences. The other day I read on Reddit, I think, a post of another father asking for help because his three-year-old was rejecting to use his language and therefore he felt also rejected. He admitted that he was irritated at the fact that the child still didn't speak his language after all he had done until that point. And 
Well, here's the thing. Children can read your emotions very well. If you are annoyed, angry, stressed out, they will know it. And if those negative feelings arise every time you're using a certain language, then your child won't want to use it because your child doesn't want you to be angry, doesn't want you to be frustrated and doesn't want you to be annoyed. The truth is that parents don't control everything. We do not control everything. A child is going to start speaking when a child is ready and that takes less or more time depending on the child and the setting and many other factors. So the grass simply doesn't grow faster if we pull on it. That's the truth. What have been your experiences? Have you noticed a silent period in you, on your children and other people? How long has that period lasted? Leave me your comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to support this channel. Share it with your friends and thank you for watching. Check out these other videos and talk to you next week.